Hello everyone, how are you doing? IO Studios here for another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but that's because I've been working on this project. A neural network in Logism. And I've made a neural network in Python as well, but I thought the Logism network would be a bit cooler to show. So, um, this specific neural network consists of four input neurons for a 4x4 four four, uh, image, I guess. You input a 4x4 four four image. I got four neurons in the, I guess, hidden layer it's called. And then four output neurons. Only um, three of the hidden layer neurons and the output layer neurons are in use, um, but you could use those for something else. So basically, we take an input from a screen. It would be a um, a four pixel, by, or a, sorry, a two pixel by two pixel screen, four pixels in total. And uh, you know, you can input uh, it's four bit color depth monochrome. So 4-bit monochrome color depth, so obviously if you input 0, it's white, 7 is gray, 15 is black, and then obviously everything in between that is what you'd expect. So, uh, this one, this neural network, has been trained to uh, predict uh, what kind of, uh, what, what pattern, it's been kind of trained to predict patterns, so what I'll do is, um, it, you know, it's been trained to predict, like, you know, maybe we'll have something like this. You know, and we're asked to classify, you know, uh, what is the pattern here? Is it top right, bottom left, or is it bottom right, top left? Is it both? You know, it'll obviously choose the stronger one, but um, you can't do backpropagation logism, or you can, but it, it's really hard. You know, you'd have to make a derivative calculator in logism, and I'm not really up to the challenge yet, so. Uh, this neural network, the weights were calculated outside of logism, and then I just inputted the uh, weights. So it's a neural network, it just isn't trained in logism, simply because, as I mentioned before, getting a derivative, making a derivative calculator is pretty hard. So, anyway, uh, you can see here, we've got a bias. The bias isn't currently in use, but you know, I know what you want. You want to see a demonstration. So we will input the equivalent of this into the, oops, we will input the equivalent of this into the neural network, and we will see what it is looking. We'll see actually what we'll do. We will go ahead and we'll give it uh, this. Okay, just like so. That's pretty good. So we're gonna input that. So you know, uh, oops, that's a song there. Uh, this is the two bo top left, bottom right. Um, that is seven. So we'll actually just input seven. And then over here is just light gray and light gray. So light gray can be, we'll make light gray, we'll make it three. Okay, light gray can be three. And we'll look at our outputs here. Horizontal probability, diagonal probability of uh, eight, which means that it is, I guess, eight probability sure. Uh, it is eight units sure that it's diagonal. Now let me show you another example here, but I'll switch it around, okay? Um, I will redo this, just like so, and I'll, I'll switch it around. And we'll see what the outputs give us. So I'll just input this. Okay, so actually what I've decided to do is I've gone ahead and inputted this into the neural network. So I've kind of got a really um, bright gray, a really light gray, a still really light gray, but a bit darker gray, and then to um, kind of darker grays, and we will, oops, that's that, logism. So I've inputted this, you can see here, uh, we, at the top here, we've got three, and actually, just like so, should do the trick, there we go, so we got two, representing the light gray, really light gray, we've got three, representing the bit lighter, bit darker gray, and then we've got seven, and seven, representing the bottom ones here. So, you can see the output is horizontal probability of 9. So, you know, obviously the probability will change, but as long as the probability is greater than... Um, as long as the probability is greater than 0, then you're pretty good to go. Now, I'll show you one more example here. Obviously, at the end here, we have a rectifying squasher, which basically just ignores all negative numbers. But let's say that we do care about negative numbers. Okay, so I'm just going to move the squasher over here. We're not going to need that for now. What we're going to do, oops. <laughs> what 
what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these and this will only take a second so I will go ahead and redo the outputs now this will be set to uh, so the 17th bit is a sign bit indicating whether it's negative so the top zero is either a one or a zero now what we're going to do is we're going to input the following all right, so now obviously before our neural network was, uh, I, I showed it that it, it obviously when we did um, this, it gave us a positive value of diagonal. But if we set it to this, uh, what is it going to output? Well, we will go ahead and we will input that now. Now you don't actually need these here, and I'll, I'll get rid of one of them. You know, you don't really need these here. I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll get rid of those. So we'll just do some gray, okay? Um, so we'll just fill in that there, and that's pretty dark gray. What it gives us is, uh, you can see the one here is on, that's indicating the number is negative. So we get ourselves negative, I can read binary, I believe that is negative 14. So that means that it has, uh, it's, it's negative percent sure uh, that it's 14 on that one. So I'm going to just translate this. Basically what it's saying is it's saying it's 14 percent sure it's the complete opposite of the, the top left and the bottom right, which is correct. The top right and bottom left, so that's correct. And uh, the last example will be really quick, I promise. So we're just going to go ahead and we are going to do a vertical one. So we'll do light gray, light gray, and that translated into this is like this. And just for fun, we'll add a little uh, some noise there. So we'll just add two and one. Obviously, horizontal probability. Ooh, so diagonal probability, it's negative sure. It's, it thinks it's 1% sure. It's one probability negative sure. That's diagonal probability. That's obviously not correct. Negative one, sure it's horizontal. Oh, but it's positive uh, 13 that it's vertical. So obviously it's vertical. We just take whichever one's larger. And obviously with better, more, more training, it gets more and more accurate. But there is my neural network in Logism. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment your ideas, your thoughts. Uh, if you want to, I'll show you a, a neural network in uh, Python. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.